So what is it that interferes with the big picture? I'm, I'm getting to the, the little technique, the little meditational technique that, that is helpful, that helps you to, to get the big picture. But before I talk about it, I want to talk about a little bit of the psychology of, of uh, the big picture and also the metapsychology of it. So what interferes with getting the big picture? You know what, what interferes, don't you? Of course you do. One thing is anger. When you get angry, emotions rise up. And then what? Then you have an intensely subjective viewpoint. Why is he saying that to me? Why are they doing this to me? Why does this always happen to me? Why can't he ever see? Anger. It's a judgment. You've made a judgment. So that interferes with getting the big picture. The other thing that interferes with getting the big picture is being lost in thoughts. See, when you're lost down there in thoughts, then you can't get the big picture. You can't see the forest for the trees. You've heard that expression? You can't see the forest for the trees? But when you're lost in thoughts, you're lost in the trees. Facts, figures, formulas, memories, images, words that you've heard, things you've memorized, things somebody said. See? You're just lost in that, planning, scheming, worrying. And when you're lost down there, you can't get the big picture. 